Morning guys, nice and early, got a lot to do today, if I can. Right, the G4, superb stuff, can't recommend it enough, has completely stopped the water coming through, that little bit you can see in the drain, is we've had a little drop of rain overnight, um, I should have apparently done a clear coat first, instead of the black, so I bought a big tub of clear coat. I'm going to go right over the lot of it. I'm going to come up the walls a bit as well to all where the bottom render was. First of all, I'm just going to rub any high points off the wall. And all the pipe works come, hopefully, to start getting the nexus plumbed in. So that's my jobs for today, hopefully. Don't think any rain is forecast, so I should have a good, be able to get a lot done today. That's the uh, bottom drain fixed in. This one here is the air to the bottom drain. So I'm gonna divert this, that one, right across behind me. So it's gonna come up the edge where the filter house wall will be um, obviously the air pump will be on a shelf there somewhere off the floor that's the next one I'm going to do right, that's the air pipe sitting obviously nothing gets welded together at the moment plastic welded until the final install I'm just running them make sure I can get them to where I want, to, want them that's what I've used. Make sure you've got your goggles on as well. It's a bit dangerous. Well, that's a hole of the floor, and to that line you can see, painted with the clear G4. I might do the whole wall. I'll see how much I've got left. I decided to put the air pipe down deeper because I want the waste pipes, I want to bring over the top of it and then into that corner of where I built the sump. So it goes straight down, you can see, straight down into there. Right, so that's technically done. I'm waiting for um, a large pipe that comes out of the large waste but it just run parallel with the small one into the wastewater trap then I can cement the slabs on finish that one over in the corner obviously all this is going to be re-concreted in so they, they'll be buried not the white ones they'll be, I, can't, I couldn't get black ones believe it or not so um if it bothers me, I'll, I'll paint them black, but I'll, I'll see. But they're gonna, they will sit there like that. The left hand is the top hole in the pond. You return, and that's the bottom one. Um, so as I said before, I can turn off when when the pond's looking a bit feel dirty on the bottom. I can turn the top one off, force all the water around the bottom. Hopefully, it stirs it up, goes down the bottom drain then into the filter to be cleaned it's not all I haven't cemented all the joints at the moment obviously I want to give it a, a wait until the final time fitting the pump sits under there as you can see that's the outlet made a mess but it's another good job done. I'm glad I've got that done. Just a shame that pipe didn't turn up. The pallet of wood the um, Nexus came on. I um, decided to just give it a little burn. Um, I don't know about any of you lot, but our rubbish dump, the tip, you have to book an appointment, which is a couple of weeks in advance now, 
and even though all this stuff is recyclable obviously they must get money for it but they don't let you take it down there something's gone wrong finally took off all the plastic around the bottom drain I've peeled back a little bit of the G4 I've put some sealant right way around it and then I'm going to, when that's dried I'm going to just bring a little layer of waterproof cement over the top and then when that's dried I'll do the G4 again and that's ready to be fiberglassing As you can see, there's a little bit of water on the surface. We had a little tiny bit of rain last night. There was hardly anything in the hole. So it's all looking good. Right, that's a little bit of waterproof cement around there. It's all been sealed. Waterproof cement. Now if there's anyone who doesn't know how a uh, bottom drain works, I'll show you. That bit of pipe gets glued in, glued in there obviously you, you cut off what you don't want there's a thread in the top of that and the, the top part of the this is the top part that is that is a plate and the top that is the air diffuser so the air the air comes out of here up into the it, it forms a dome it's like a massive air stone. They look really good when they're, they're on. So that, let me just screw it on. So that's it screwed on, but that's the size of the gap. So by cutting that inside pipe down, they recommend you bring it down to about the width of your thing, fingers. So, after it's been fiberglassed, I'll cut it down a little bit. And that's the bottom drain. And because it's got that thread on it, if, if you ever need to replace this, I don't know how long they're supposed to last, or if you ever wanted to clean it, it all just unscrews. So, you can always access it if you need to. Hopefully, never need to.